Hello and welcome to a new video in the series on Azure Container Apps. In this case, we're going to take a look at revisions, which are used for lifecycle management. For example, when you deploy new versions of your application, you'll do that in a new revision. Now, when you deploy your containers to an Azure Container App, you'll have one or more containers that will basically sit in a pod. This is similar to Kubernetes pods. Containers in the pod share disk and network. That also means that containers can communicate with each other over localhost. They share the same application lifecycle. For example, when the pod dies, the containers die as well. Your containers should not run privileged and today they should be Linux only. Now, when you deploy your containers in such a pod, they're automatically deployed in what is called a revision. So you'll get your first revision automatically. You'll also get new revisions automatically whenever the template to your container app changes and you deploy this new template. For instance, when I modify the container image of this container, or I modify an environment variable in the second container, I'll get these changes in a new revision automatically. Now, depending on how you work with revisions, you can have a single revision active all the time, or you can have multiple revisions active. And we'll talk more about that in a moment. When you work with multiple revisions in a container app, you can also enable traffic management. Here's an example of a container app B, and this container app once in the beginning had maybe a first revision that had 100% of traffic going to that revision. Then I deployed a second revision. For example, I modified the container image used here, and I set this revision as inactive and had 100% of traffic going to revision two. Then I made another change. I got to revision three, and decided to have 10% of traffic going to this revision, while 90% goes to revision two. Now, these percentages are handled at the proxy level. Remember that container apps uses Envoy proxy, and at the Envoy proxy level, when you hit the application on the URL that it was given, the split will be taken care of. So 90% of traffic will go to revision two, and 10% of traffic will go to revision three. You can then inspect, for example, errors at revision three level to see if you should increase the amount of traffic going to that latest revision. In a moment, we'll take a look how to set these traffic splits. Like in the previous videos, we will deploy a simple front-end container app. This front-end container app is deployed using BICEP, the resource is called front container app and the container app is called front. Now, what is important here is the template. So the template only deploys one container based on an image in a parameter that we set. We set one environment variable and we modify the default HTTP scaling rule. That's all the template does. Here we deploy the template, so I'm just going to press enter and wait a moment until the deployment is finished. And here we are, the deployment is finished. Let's take a look in the portal if we can see our first revision. Revisions can be checked in revision management of the container app. And you can clearly see that this first deployment gave me a revision called front dash dash and then some random text and numbers. The revision gets 100% of traffic and is active. I didn't specify anything about revisions and revision handling in my bicep template. So what you see here are the defaults. The default for the revision mode is also multiple. That means that several revisions can be active simultaneously. If you don't want that, you only want one active revision at a time, just set it to single. You can do that here, but of course also in the bicep script. Now we can make a change to our template. I already went ahead and modified the environment variable, so the welcome environment variable for our application, I set it to ref 
two over here. That's all it takes when the template changes and we deploy the application again, we should get a new revision in this multiple revision mode. Let's just deploy the application and see where we get. So let's uh, clear this out here and deploy this again. The deployment has finished. So let's take a look in the portal. In the portal, we can now see we have two revisions. This is my earlier revision. And by default, because I didn't specify anything else, we get 0% of traffic now going to the old revision. The new revision gets 100% of traffic and of course also has a different name here. Now be aware that both of these revisions are active. We are still in this multiple revision mode over here, right? What I can do now is basically I could modify these traffic percentages or I could make one of the revisions inactive. Remember that a container app as a application URL, the application URL can be seen over here. This has nothing to do with the revisions. This is just my app. And depending on the percentages of traffic going to revisions, I might end up on one or another revision. But if you go to the revisions, you also should know that each revision has its own URL. For example, I can see that my currently deployed revision that receives 100% of traffic, I can go to the revision specific URL here, click on that, and I see the result of this revision. That's quite easy. Now I can also still visit the earlier revision. Although it does not receive any traffic, any production traffic, so to speak, it is still active. So if I click on this revision and then click on the specific revision URL, I can indeed see that I'm going to my older application. It doesn't say ref2. Now it does need to scale up here, I see, because it scaled down to zero. So let's give it some time to do that. This took a few seconds and here you see indeed, this is my the old text of my old environment variable uh, that I had there, right? Now this only works when you have the revision still active. If you make it inactive, like in this case, I uh, click this check mark over here and I press save and I wait a while to update the revisions, we'll see in a moment that I cannot go to that revision anymore. Here you see that the revision update is now finished. But I can still show the inactive revisions. I can also go to the inactive revision. But now when I click on this revision URL, I will get this message. Indeed, the web app is currently stopped. It doesn't accept any request. This is normal because the revision has been made inactive. Now I've set a new revision, revision three, and I have my very first revision still as being inactive. But the difference is that my latest revision, revision three, gets 20% of traffic. Revision two gets 80% of traffic. Now let's see what that does when we are hitting the URL of the app. This is not a revision URL. This is a URL of the Azure Container app. Let's see what happens. What you should see here is indeed that many more times revision two is coming up because it's receiving 80% of traffic. Once in a while, you see indeed that there's a response coming from revision three. So the traffic management and shifting traffic is doing its work here. When you look in the resource JSON, and you can find this, by the way, if you go to your container app in the overview and you click on JSON view, you'll find the information you need to also set this, for example, in an ARM template or in your bicep script. So for example, in the configuration section, you can set the active revision mode to multiple or to single. Multiple is the default. And then, of course, there's this traffic shifting that we want to do. Well, in the traffic section, you can indeed per revision name specify the weight there. So the 20, 80% rule that I uh, enabled a moment ago on my revisions is basically configured here. You're probably wondering how you get some control over the revision names and then the traffic split using something like an ARM template or bicep. Well, remember that in your template, you can set the revision suffix to the suffix that you want. So for example, I set revision suffix here to rev1, and we end up with this revision name here, front dash dash rev1. 
one. I can now deploy a second revision and at the same time also set my traffic split from the bicep template. I have now modified my template and set the revision suffix to ref2. I also modify the environment variable here. What I can do now is in the ingress section, I can add a traffic array and every entry in the traffic array gets the revision name. So I know now exactly that my first revision was front dash dash rev1. I want to have still 80% of traffic going to that one. But to my latest deployed revision, you can use latest revision true in this case, I want to wait to go to 20. Of course, everything has to add up to 100%. When you deploy this, you'll get the following configuration in container apps, exactly as specified in the bicep template. And with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you have learned a little bit more about revisions in Azure container apps, and also that you can deploy these revisions from bicep or ARM templates, that you can give your revisions your own suffix as well, that you can control also the traffic split from within your templates. I hope you like this. See you some other time. Bye-bye.